one of the teens accused of attacking and killing a homeless man in Mission Beach on the 4th of July faced a judge today in court. And Fox 5 Zero and Barker headed downtown to bring us the details from the courtroom. 18 year old El Cajon resident Daniel Rubin Martin was arraigned in court Wednesday facing one count of murder. Um, no bail will be allowed. Uh, Mr. Martin will be held with no bail. Martin and another teen are accused of beating and killing 65 year old Michael Shook. Shook was found dead in the early morning hours on the 5th of July in Bonita Cove Park on West Mission Bay Drive. It's hard, you know, it's hard that it, to find out the details of how how heinous and brutal the attack actually was. The victim's son, who also shares the name Michael Shook, was in the courtroom Wednesday. He says his dad used to live in Vista, was an avid fisherman, and got into trouble later in life. He says after he was released from custody, he had terminal cancer and was homeless in the last few years. He says he was already grieving the loss of his dad, but didn't know he'd be grieving in a courtroom. I just, it's, it's just very sad because he was kind of right there on his own way out and no one really deserves to die in that type of manner and it's it's kind of more sad that these kids kind of threw away a big chunk of their life and made their family members victims too and they could have just left the homeless man on the bench alone. San Diego police say when they got to the scene, Shook had multiple stab wounds to his upper body and injuries to his face that indicated he'd been beaten. Police said during their initial investigation, the victim was in a physical confrontation with a group of five to six people in their late teens or early 20s. Three days after the attack, authorities arrested Martin during a traffic stop. On Sunday, a 17-year-old also accused of murder self-surrendered to San Diego police. Martin's family was also in the courtroom, but they declined to comment. Now, Martin is due back inside of a courtroom later this month. There's also a 17 year old accused of murder in connection with this case, but that person's identity has not yet been released since they are a minor. Reporting in downtown, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.